Well, new at five, a string of terrifying moments this week for pizza delivery drivers. Tampa police say a supposed customer pulled a knife on a Papa John's driver then made off with the order. And not long after that, the same thing happened to a Domino's driver. Fox 13's Evan Axelbank is live near TPD with an update on this investigation. Evan, do we think the two cases are connected? Well, uh, two incidents have happened in two days, so police definitely believe that they are related, especially because they happened in the same area. It shows how dangerous and also how important delivery jobs can be. The order for a Papa John's pizza was sent to an address at this apartment complex on the 2200 block of Osborne Avenue in East Tampa. When the driver couldn't find the right apartment, he was told apartment C was in the back. That's when one of four teens pulled a knife, took the pie, and ran off. Safety is like the first thing, you know, it's like without safety, you can't do this job. Elaine Sanchez of Tampa yeah, used delivery driving to get his feet wet in making regular Uber runs. Hearing that a driver was mugged shows the Catch-22 drivers are often in. Oh, we, we gotta do something, right? It's not like we can like stop working. TPD says the Papa John's driver was held up Tuesday night at around 8 while something similar happened to a Domino's driver the night before in the same neighborhood. TPD urges drivers to not deliver to addresses that change on the fly, to not leave the vehicle in poorly lit areas, and to install cameras. Industry groups urge government to get involved, especially to study how many drivers there are, the biggest risks they face, and whether public policy could address some of them. There's really uh, no part of our economy that doesn't depend on a delivery workforce uh, to function these days. The Bureau of Labor Statistics says there are 1.7 million delivery drivers in the U.S., though some are truck drivers not going to private addresses. Still, with an average salary of $38,000 a year, the Association for Delivery Drivers says they need protection. I don't think that, you know, we have, as a society, gotten our, gotten our hands around the problem um, to try to get ahead of it instead of, you know, what I fear is, is waiting until it's too late. A TPD says that drivers should trust their instincts and to either not make a delivery or to call, or to call 911 if anything seems amiss. They also want customers to ensure drop-off areas are well lit and that they give drivers clear instructions the first time around. Back to you. All right, Evan Axelbank reporting live for us. Thank you.